Hey folks, Wayne Taylor, Honest Home Finder. Gosh, losing my voice here, losing my voice. A lot going on today. I wanted to come out to Mint Hill Village and get a video of uh, some this particular home that's going to close. These are folks I've been helping out with this transaction. I know I take a lot of videos and I know some of you out there thinking that I just do it for fun, but I am a realtor. I'm a real estate agent. And um, these folks were gracious enough to allow me to come into their home right before they close so I can take a video and prove to people that I actually do that. It's uh, it's difficult for me. Like I get paid to do a job and I do it well, um, but nowadays we live in a world where you gotta market yourself, right guys? So Meritage Homes, Mint Hill Village. Um, wish I'd have jumped on this neighborhood a little bit sooner because I can understand why they're selling like hotcakes. I know a lot of you out there do not like, and that chirping is gonna happen the whole time. I hate it, but I don't have extra batteries or a ladder to fix it if I did. Um, but quite frankly, right next to um, Mint Hill Village, that's why they call this Mint Hill Village. This is where the, uh, um, right next to the police station and the, um, seat of government here in Mint Hill. Just a fantastic location and an amazing price point. A lot of things that are special about this home. We're in a Brighton, by the way. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bath. Um, in Meritage's uh, alley garages, <laughs> bungalow maybe I'm supposed to be calling. There are a couple of different floor plans, and I think I have videos of all of them. I just wanted to get these guys. And I know this looks not great, um, but they have uh, hooked up the gas there. And I'm not gonna mess with it. Sometimes I'll be tempted to push it back in. I'm gonna make sure everything's right and ready for the closing. It's just gonna happen within a week. And again, um, if you see things that are wrong or see the, the old blue tape, the deadly blue tape, um, that's just because we just did the walkthrough not too long ago and they're still working on finalizing all the things to make this uh, home as perfect as it can. I'll take a look out in the garage. It's not open, but just understand that it will uh, open up to a driveway. and an alley where everybody comes in to, to park their cars. This is actually feels like a really big garage. Oh, just gives me a headache every time those things go off. Put your half bath, drop zone, someplace to take off the shoes before you walk in and get everything dirty. I think we've got an idea of what we're looking at in the Brighton. Let's head upstairs, folks. Alrighty, alrighty, made it up, made it up. And we're standing in the Brighton. It's what makes the Brighton the Brighton versus the other two that you can build out here. I think the Calhoun has a fourth bedroom. And the Tanner has a little different layout for its three bedroom, two bath. <laughs> this is one of those times, if you've ever heard me kind of gripe a little bit about um, the size of loss. This one is completely usable. I'm walking down just a ton of space right here. Laundry room. Quick shot of that in front of the house. This is usable. I dig this Brighton though. Got everything you need in a home. I like having some area outside of my bedrooms. That's a personal preference. I get it. Sometimes when you walk upstairs and that's nothing but that little narrow path going through the bedrooms, it just feels cramped. This will be a Jack and Jill. Shared bathroom upstairs for the two secondary bedrooms. I know I'm going a little fast. It's also one of these deals. I just can't get my brain wrapped around how dark it gets this early. 
model homes are easier to check out when there's no light. I'm actually going to one after this. And it's only three o'clock. It's about to get dark. These are good size bedrooms. Oh, did I mention what something that I, I didn't realize when I first came out here? I think it, uh, I mentioned it on the model video that I did a while back. Now that one's obviously not finished. There's a lot more work to be done on that, but all of these are full brick. You just don't see that that much anymore, guys, especially at this price point. Oh my goodness. It's one of the reasons my folks are so excited to move in this neighborhood besides the fantastic location here in historic Mint Hill. All brick neighborhood. You don't think that's a big deal. I just went in a builder neighborhood who has an absolutely fantastic reputation across the country. And they were at a certain price point and it was all vinyl. I, did, I had to stop and look and walk up and touch it. I was like, no way these guys are doing this. I can't even remember the last time this particular builder that I'm thinking of that I'm not gonna mention. Um, that I could see what they did with their vinyl homes. This is the primary bedroom, the master. Didn't mention it, I start rambling on at the mouth. And again, it's got some doors open, some things looking at. I just don't mess with it when I know somebody's working. There's probably no reason for those to be open, but there might be, I don't know. I was pretty pleased with the process of Meritage. It was a little bit of a shock for me that I think it is for a lot of you folks out there right now looking for new home products. It uh, seems like all the builders have started copying each other, only doing inventory homes. You can't do a build, you can't go pick out your stuff. And that's a drag. Um, there are some positives to it, but I know most folks, when they want to build from the ground up, they want to be the one choosing what goes into a home. And this was uh, one of the first um, chances that I had to uh, work in that style of it, not having people being able to pick out their stuff. Now, I've done a few since then, and it's a, it's a hard sell. It uh, kind of puts a little bit of a frown on folks' faces but not on the ones that are going to be buying this one because they were grinning from ear to ear when we were walking through putting up all the blue tape the other day. And I'm so appreciative, appreciative to them to allow me to do what's basically marketing, telling everybody that, yes, I do sell homes using their homes as an example. So you guys, if you're going to see this, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to can't wait to see you get those keys in your hand. All right, guys, top of the screen is my buyer's incentive. These folks took advantage of it. Don't leave any money on the table. Thanks.